Hey YouTube, um, this is the Hawks Den. I know I haven't been active for quite some time, but um, I do have some updates within uh, the channel. Um, most of you are well aware that um my ghost mantis uh Baco died a few weeks back so um along with that those who haven't seen any of my posts on uh Instagram I have some more sad news my uh feathertail centipede uh, died as well and I recently got her during the uh, the Kalamazoo uh, reptile expo which is a very sad news for me but other than that I uh, recently rehoused a few of my uh, slings, including my Heterothelia bilicella, which I just did not too long ago, which I did very carefully. But I felt that it was necessary to put her in a larger container because of how far her webbing reached so uh to her uh to the very top of her previous enclosure i didn't want to take any chances so i just bought her a larger container gave her just about enough substrate i had to wet it just a bit just so i can mold the uh, substrate so I can do a little tunnel for her so she can start redoing her enclosure. Um, also, a friend of mine recently caught a, a new addition for me. So I will try and uh, get, get you guys updated with all the critters that I recently uh, rehoused. I will not be doing a feeding video today, or well, it's about to be midnight. Um, either tomorrow after work, or um, let me let me see something real quick. Either tomorrow. After I get off work, or Wednesday, I will do a feeding video. But in the meantime, I'll show you most of the uh, slings that I rehoused and uh, the new addition. Alright, here is my Heterothelia villicella in her brand new enclosure, which as you can see is rather large. Maybe a little too big for her, but so she can web up the place to her heart's content and I don't have to worry about her getting up too high. And I made a little burrow for her so she can get started. But it was rather stressful uh, transfer for both her and me. So it's going to take her a little bit to, you know, settle in to the new enclosure. So I probably won't feed her until then. 
So, yeah, but there's my Heterothele Villocella. I believe she molted uh, twice already, which she has increased in size, pretty much. So, yeah. That's my uh, my only old world species. Here's my Gramostola pulchropes for the Chaco Guldeni. Um, I felt that she needed an upgrade. This isn't the greatest enclosure idea for her, but it's big enough for her to do whatever. And I don't have to worry about her running off because she's very do docile and she doesn't really give me much trouble. So, hell yeah. I will say this, she's one of the only few tarantulas that I have that take forever to molt. But through the amount of time that I've had her, I she doesn't disappoint when it comes to feeding. So, but yeah, there she is. And here is my Acanthoscura geniculata. I personally felt like it was time for me to rehouse her and put her in a larger container. And it seems like she's adjusting just fine. As a matter of fact, I think I might throw a little feeder bug in there for her. Oh, shit. Excuse my language. Oh yeah, she was very, she was very hungry. The other tarantulas are going to hate me for this. Because this girl just got a meal before they could. But either tomorrow or Wednesday, it's happening. But there's my, there's my big girl. Oh. Oh. She's one of my best eaters. I love fe I love feeding her. She doesn't disappoint. She's always eager to eat. And I'm just happy to be able to see her out and about. Unlike with the deli cups. I can't wait for her to actually uh, mature. Okay, she's going in her little tunnel. Well, what are you doing? And, I, and as you can see, she's starting to show the little uh, color uh, patterns on her legs. But anywho, we're gonna move on to the other updates. And here is my Davos Fasciatus. And a while back, she, as you can see, she molted. Oh, God. oh wow. What are you doing? Oh. Okay, she's going back to her little hide. She's being camera shy. But, yeah, she molted not too long ago, actually. Well, she's hidden away. I'm actually going to grab her molt real quick before she decides to come back up. Alright. But yeah, 
that was pretty much the only update with her so she is definitely going to need an upgrade and an enclosure because I feel bad for her because this this isn't this isn't a proper setup for a tarantula her size she needs a little bit of elbow room so just hang in there girl We'll get you in a new home as soon as possible. Alright, and here is the newest edition in which my friend actually found out, out in the outdoors because I told him that I would only accept uh, wolf spiders and uh, wood louses or, or the wood louse spider. He managed to catch a, a wolf spider, or from what he believed was a wolf spider. I did post a video of this little one on Instagram, and someone did comment saying that it was a, a, a certain species of a wolf spider. So... Definitely has the mentality of a wolf spider, that's for certain. And it has the appetite because I fed it twice and it it took down a roach around half its size, no problem. So that's the newest addition. So hopefully we can feature her in the next feeding video. And uh, besides all the inverts that I've rehoused and the recent molt update and the newest edition, I also have uh, some other some other stuff to show you guys so just a moment yeah I don't know if you can see them but these are baby fish from my uh, my pink my male pink and female black uh, convict cichlid they constantly lay a clutch of eggs and during the process of uh, transferring them from the 20 gallon tank which they were miserable to a 60 gallon tank as I was draining out the 20 gallon I did notice these little guys and I felt like I wanted to try and keep them alive, possibly raise them, and maybe even sell them, or give them to people, or take them to a pet shop, but, and I'm also curious on what uh, patterns they'll, uh, they'll have, each and every one of them, so... But yeah, but I have two female black convicts and one male uh, pink convict. And they constantly breed like crazy. But the fry never really make it because there are other cichlids in the tank. And sometimes they get eat the fry get eaten. But I did manage to save these guys, and I intend on getting a larger container for these for these little ones, and just raise them, raise them up, and grow them. So that's the idea. And yeah, and it's pretty much this container and. Uh, this container here it doesn't have this one doesn't have a lot 
not compared to this one but still I mean, these were all that I could uh, save so so yeah if anyone's in my area and interested in uh, uh, black convict cichlids or pink convicts depending on what uh, what colors these little guys take after definitely hit me up and that is pretty much it for this uh, video so I just thought I'd keep you guys updated somehow haven't been able to do any reaction videos on the uh, other aspect of my channel because of issues with the internet which I still have to pay that off and get it reinstalled but hopefully that will happen eventually but in the meantime I am able to do updates with my animals so so yeah and do be expecting a feeding video either tomorrow or Wednesday because I need to feed these guys anyways I need to feed them and I, I need to keep busy somehow and I really pretty much can't do any other updates on my other channels because <sighs> I got something going on on my art channel but I am waiting on my friend to work on some music for me so I can feature it in the video so in the meantime this is all I can do but uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the update video and um, yeah um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is the Hawks Den signing off. You guys have an awesome night, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.